Hey guys, it's the Coincy Dreamer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited and I'm wearing the Oculus Rift because I'm going to show you how to get the WebXR experience running in Firefox and how this is going to basically execute in a mini web server that is going to be running in localhost with a specific port. So I want to show you basically what we did on the previous video, but in this case you're going to be building it yourself so that you can actually host it in your own web server. So. Let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, let me show you how to get this running on the web browser so that we can basically build it and host it in our own web server. So what you need to do is let's get things going and make sure that we verify a couple of things. You want to make sure that the current thing is the one that is added to build settings. Also, make sure that we change in the target on the platform. It's going to be WebGL. Click on Player Settings. Then by default, Unity is going to add default company as the default company name. I'm just going to go ahead and put in my company name. And then I'm also going to be renaming the product name, which is using the current, you know, project name to be, to be the product name. So I want to be, you know, to have something more friendly. So we can just say desert experience. I also like to use, you know, the, the major, minor and patch. So I'm just going to do, let's go ahead and do 1.000. Then the other things that you need to make sure is we're going to go into resolution and presentation. And the Mozilla team had a, has a template for WebGL. You can use the default, the minimal, or you can just use the WebXR. I recommend that you use the WebXR because that's how they have it on their documentation. So I'm just going to say, you know, this is going to be, it's going to copy this on the description. And we can just say something else. Let's say Unity 3D Desert Experience, Meta DAX. We can just say Meta Tax is going to be Desert. We can also say Unity 3D, my first web XR demo. That could be the meta tags. And then the name, I'm just going to go ahead and copy that as, as well and put it in the name. And then other things that you want to make sure that you have, if you go be able to run this on the, you know, on the editor, make sure you go to PC, Mac, and Linux. And I showed you that on the previous video, but I want to reiterate it because it's really important. Make sure that you have the virtual reality supported. And then the Oculus or OpenVR, it's going to be the ones that you add to virtual reality SDKs. And then that's basically everything that you need to do. Now, just let's go ahead and close this. And like I say, just go ahead and if you want to do a development build because you want to get a feeling of, you know, having additional information like debug information, make sure you check that. If you're ready to release, you know, don't check that because this is going to make the build a lot bigger. So once you decide, you know, you have your final build, just go ahead and click on build and run. You're going to select the folder. I already have a build for folder, so I'm just going to select that. Click on select folder. And then that's just going to build and it's going to open up your preferred browser. Just make sure you open Firefox and you write down the location that it's telling you that it's going to open up. It's normally going to be localhost and then a port number. Write that down and I'm going to show you what you need to do next. All right, guys, so it looks at like this finished building. So it opened up in my preferred browser, which is Chrome. So I'm just going to go ahead and close it. Just make sure that you copy the local host and the port location. I'm just going to close that and then open up Firefox. And I'm going to paste that location, which it should take me to my experience. It's also going to show you this pop up, and that's because we need to allow virtual reality access. So I'm just going to click on Remember This Decision and Allow. I'm also going to be clicking on continue and then you can see this icon on the bottom right. Make sure that you click it. And when you click it, it should open up the experience. If it doesn't open the experience, make sure that you have the Oculus app open. In my case, because I'm running on the Oculus Rift. So now that, that is open, I'm going to minimize it. I'm going to refresh the browser and then click on it and you should hear the noise. So now it should open up the experience. I'm going to show you how it looks. And looks like everything is working. I can see that the cubes are working. I can grab them. I can throw them. I can also grab the sphere. Grab the other sphere. I'm going to just go ahead and throw the, the sphere, throw that other one. And then let's see, we can also stack them. I showed you this in the previous video, but this is running on the actual browser as a mini web server. So this shows you that, that it's all working. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video today. If you guys have any questions about anything that I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for the developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting early access to source code and also everything that I'm doing behind the scenes. Thank you very much, guys.